Hey everyone, it's P. Moody. Um, today is Monday. So, um, or is it Tuesday? It must be Tuesday. I can't keep track. It's Monday or Tuesday. At any rate, um, today's video is I'm in awe of you. And it's in regards to the Lord our God. So today when I was doing my quiet time, I just was sitting, I was reflecting on basically like everything that um, the Lord had done, like how I feel in his presence. And it's just an amazing feeling when you just get in a quiet space and it's just you and the Lord and it's just you and God and you're just pouring out and then you receive from the Holy Spirit and he just downloads and tells you things that you couldn't know people to pray for, what to pray for. And also just to clear your thoughts, especially with what's going on with the world right now. It's easy to get your thoughts bombarded and just feel all types of ways because of the things that you see on the news or something that you've read pertaining to the situation and crisis that we're all facing right now in this point in time. But let me bring you to a scripture that will help bring some light as in regards to the message today, which is in all of you. And it's from Psalms 33, 8. Again, it's Psalms 33, 8, and it reads, Let all the earth fear the Lord, fear as in reverence of the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. I'm going to read it one more time. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. So it says all, everyone stand in awe of him. Not because it's something that somebody told you to do or maybe you were taught growing up to do it, but because you know him for who he is, you know how good he is, you know how kind and merciful he is, that he sent his son Jesus to die for us, even yet while we were sinners. I even reflect back in my own life, things that my husband and I have gone through, you know, trials and tribulations, not particularly with our marriage, but the things that we gone through together as a married couple, um, the time we were homeless, and then the time before that where it was just we were at different people's houses, not because we wanted to, but you know we thank God that it came together. It was all part of His plan to get us to where we are today. But just knowing that those hardships and things that we never thought we would ever have to face, that when we dealt with them, we had each other to deal with them together as well as the Lord was strengthening us and God was just leading and guiding us and the Holy Spirit was just revealing things to us and teaching us things that we could not possibly know and there's no way that we would have made it if it were not for the Lord our God I mean given also that we've never been in those situations so how do you know how to handle and maintain and manage yourself in those situations without losing your mind without losing your peace and your joy all of that could have been snatched from us and it wasn't because we kept our hope in him we kept our hands in the hands of jesus we prayed still we did things as best as we could regular and there's no way that we can do anything apart from him. the word even says that and i'm just in awe of how he brought everything full circle he didn't allow us into certain places for a reason because he knew it was time for us to just be in a safe place, which was ours that we could call our own and we wouldn't have to deal with the things that we were dealing with prior um, to being here. And I'm so grateful at the time. It doesn't make sense, but that's why he says to lean not to your own understanding and acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. And he did. He made it straight. He made it well. We kept professing with our mouth. One day when we get in our own place, when we get in our, we just kept saying, even when the obstacles kept coming up against us, we didn't let that deter us from believing that he said what he said. He told us this, excuse me, a long time ago that we would. And even I had a dream of it a long time ago before it even happened. I just didn't know when it would be. And I just thank him for bringing it to come to pass. As all other things that he showed me and he showed my husband and they've come to pass. Just to stand steadfast in his word, whatever you're believing him for, whatever you're praying for keep seeking him and keep praying and don't give up on what you believe that he showed you in due time it's not our timing it's in his timing then all things will come together and it will happen he is not a man that he shall lie so his word will not come back void it'll happen as he says it was but in the midst of the times or the trials and tribulations 
stay steadfast and dig your heels in and be firmly rooted and grounded in Christ Jesus and ask the Lord to just give you strength. Don't give up your hope. Don't give up your peace. I know it may get frustrating, but keep on going. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength and he can do everything but fail. So remember that. God bless you all. P. Moody.